Hello friends, a quick look at the formula for a geometric series, the sum of a geometric series. Remember, terminology, a sequence is a list of numbers, a series is the sum of that sequence. So, we do have a general formula for the first, the sum of the first n terms of a geometric series. It's the first term times a fraction, and the numerator of the fraction is 1 minus the ratio to the nth power. The denominator is just 1 minus the ratio. Next slide, we're going to take a look at why that's true. If you want to fast forward through this, that's okay by me. But if you're interested in why this is true, this is a lovely example. So here is the sum of the first n terms of a geometric sequence that starts with 1. So 1 multiplied by r, multiplied by r again, multiplied by r again, keep multiplying, and you do it n minus 1 times. The fiendishly clever thing that happens here is what if we take this entire equation and multiply everything by r? On the left side, it's r times s of n. And on the right side, 1 times r is r. r times r is r squared. r squared times r is r cubed. And you keep adding r to the n minus 1 times r is r to the n. And now, what happens if you subtract? On this side, we get 1 minus r times s of n. And on this side, cancel, 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 cancel. We just have 1 minus r to the n. Very, very cool. Now s of n is 1 minus r to the n over 1 minus r. That's where your formula comes from. Extremely cool. So let's use it. Let's put it to use. Here's a geometric sequence. There are five terms, as you can tell. This is simple enough. We could just add them up in the calculator, but I mean, we're, we're good. The first term is three. The common ratio is five, because each time you multiply by five, that's, and there are five terms. That's what we need to know. First term is three. So three is the first term. One minus the ratio. The ratio we said multiply by five. So the ratio is five to the nth power, we're talking about five terms also. They both happen to be five in this case. And in the denominator, one minus five, one minus the ratio. This you could do in multiple steps. I think it's asking for trouble, inviting challenges. I would say let's go ahead and do this straight up in the calculator as it is. Three times control divide in order to get the fraction bar, one minus 5 to the fifth power divided by 1 minus 5, 2,343. You notice that that does make sense because this is 1,800. Was that 2,543? I think so. But I got to write it correctly. 2,543. Makes sense because we had 1,800 as the last term and another 300 before that. Did I copy that? I didn't. 2,343. So 2,343. That makes a little more sense. We're all good to go. 2,343. Sorry for the delay. Take a look at the next one. We know the first term. The first term is 1 sixth. We know the ratio in this case. Looks like each term is 1 half of the previous term. So 1 minus a half, I'm going to call it 0.5. Or 1 minus 0.5 here, but what we don't know is how many terms there are. So how many terms there are is a little bit of a challenge, but we can handle this. Six, one sixth is the first term, one twelfth. I'm looking for when is my denominator going to be 768 if I keep doubling my denominator. So if I've got 6 times 12 times 24, 24 times 2 is 48 is the fourth term times 2. The fifth term will have a denominator of 96. The sixth term, 192. The seventh term, 384. It's the eighth term. So we have eight terms to get to a denominator of 768. There we go. Eight terms. So the sum of eight terms is 1 minus 1.5 1 minus 0.5 to the eighth power over 1 minus 0.5. Be careful entering this again. Control divide, 1 over 6. Move out of the fraction. 
do an actual multiplication just for safety times 1 minus 0.5 to the eighth power divided by 1 minus 0.5 and we get 0 0.332 031 so it's about 0 0.332 very close to one-third. Curiously enough, you might learn something about that in the next one on Infinite Geometric Series. Last question, we can handle this one. This is very straightforward. Find the sum of the first six terms of this sequence. We know all the pieces. This is lovely. How many terms? Six. First term, 24. One minus the ratio. The ratio is one-third one-third and it was six terms and one minus one-third here yet again very straightforward you can handle this 24 let's clear the screen just for friendliness 24 times 1 minus parentheses 1 third to the sixth power because we had six terms over 1 minus parentheses 1 third the denominator parentheses are technically not important the numerator parentheses are crucial in the denominator it'll do the division before the subtraction but in the numerator you want to make triple sure that it's in parentheses so it does the one third before taking the sixth power we get 29 12 over 81 also known as control enter 35.9506 29, 12 over 81, I'm going to go with 35.9506. And there we have it, the sum of the first six terms of that sequence. There we go. Practice that infinite geometric se series coming up next.